today's video is Promises of Divine Guidance. So let's read the first paragraph. Your compassionate Redeemer is watching you with love and sympathy, ready to hear your prayers and to render you the assistance which you need. He knows the burdens of every mother's heart and is her best friend in every emergency. His everlasting arms support the God-fearing, faithful mother. That is so beautiful. And isn't it important to read something like this and be reminded of this, especially in a time where they're saying there's actually an epidemic of loneliness. So social media would have you think that everybody is more connected, but everybody is actually more disconnected. And why is that? Because the cares of this world, everything's gone up people are you know working very hard trying to pay the bills most people shoot a text people don't want to call <laughs> anymore you know much less even send a voice note and again with social media we look online and think oh they're doing okay that person's doing okay something subconsciously just tells us oh they're all right you know so people aren't reaching out as much but here we're reading that he is your best friend in every emergency so when you feel alone and you feel like you have nobody to talk to, I'm sure you actually have people to reach out to. So remember, don't take for granted the fact that you think people are okay. Still check in when you can, but just remember that you have a best friend, someone that you can share everything with, you know? Even this morning, I spoke to my husband about something that was on my mind and I really appreciated his counsel, but I knew that, you know what, really and truly, I need to get into the word for myself. The thing that's really going to heal my mind and help me to feel okay when I'm feeling stressed or anxious is drawing close to his word and believing his promises. So just remember you are not alone and you have a best friend, a true breath best friend that will never let you down, yeah? All right. Parents may understand that as they follow God's directions in the training of their children, they will receive help from on high. They receive much benefit for as they teach, they learn. Their children will achieve victories through the knowledge that they have acquired in keeping the way of the Lord. They are enabled to overcome natural and hereditary tendencies to evil. Amen. Look at that hope. So, so it doesn't matter what you are struggling with right now, because you can overcome. And if you believe that you're an overcomer, you can overcome. What you tell yourself in your mind is so important. What you tell yourself is very important. My husband was telling me he watched something recently and it, the vid, in the video, the man was encouraging you to say, say, I am this. Don't say I'm trying or whatever. Just say you are. Tell yourself, I am an overcomer, right? Because if we're always just coming together and saying, oh, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Where is the hope in that? Yes, we all struggle with different things, but we can have victory. Look at your life. You've got testimonies already and there, there are already things that you have overcome. So if you've overcome those struggles, why can't God help you to overcome in these other areas where you are weak? So just believe that you are an overcomer. Tell yourself that, believe that, yes? Yeah? Speak it over yourself, speak it over your children and say, even though you're struggling with this right now, you don't have to be that way. You know, even recently I said to my daughter, you are this way, but you don't have to be that way. I thought, let me just, cause I was talking to her cause I was annoyed about something. And I thought, I don't want to give you a label. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But I want you to know, even if I do label a behavior, it doesn't mean that that can't be changed. You are an overcomer. I am an overcome. I am an overcomer in Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. Our verse of encouragement is John chapter 14, verse 26. But the comforter, but the comforter, sorry, <laughs> which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. All right then, ladies, so that was Promises of Divine Guidance. Remember that you have guidance. And while you are visiting, remember to like and subscribe. Oh, I should have said first, thank you for watching. And while you are visiting, please remember to like and subscribe and share the videos. All right then, bye.